Hey guys and girls, welcome back to the Sal Patera channel and there is big news for Carnival Cruise Lines. I'll be back to tell you all about it right after this. Hey guys, welcome back and thanks for staying through the intro. As always, if you're new to our channel, please make sure you click that subscribe button, click the little bell notification, that way YouTube will let you know every time we upload a brand new video. Also, if you love our channel, consider checking the join button. The join button is a subscription service to make you a member of our channel, get you discounts on cruises, some great merchandise, all kinds of fun things, special videos just for our members. The join button, we'd really appreciate it. Now, big news in the cruise industry for Carnival Cruise Lines. CTI Jakarta, one of the largest staffing companies for the cruise industry, has announced that they are sending crew back to Carnival ships. This comes months after Carnival repatriated crew throughout the world due to company's coronavirus shutdown. After the no-sale order is expected to expire on November 1st and Carnival plans to restart cruising with passengers on December 1st, the staffing company announced on its Facebook page that several Carnival team members had departed Jakarta en route to St. Thomas, where they will join their ships, including the Carnival Horizon, Carnival Pride, and the Carnival Mardi Gras. Also prominently displayed are advertisements looking to hire new crew members for the cruise lines throughout the world. They are looking for housekeeping staff, kitchen staff, amongst lots of other positions. The crew heading back to work now will be quarantined on board for 14 days before they're allowed to resume their duties back on board the ships. There are questions regarding the cruise lines reopening though. With only days before the Trump administration is expected to lift the no sale order, the CDC on October 21st renewed its existing level three warning, the organization's highest warning recommending that quote, travels defer all cruise travel worldwide. The move came after rising instances of coronavirus are back on the rise worldwide. While the Trump administration wants to reopen the economy in the United States, including cruising, Joe Biden, should he win the presidency next Tuesday, has showed concern, even expressing that he may force a new shutdown in the United States, and most likely that would cause a shutdown in the cruise industry as well. Another close down could be devastating blow for the cruise lines. Carnival Cruise Line stock has already seen a drastic fall this week as the company continues to try to stay afloat, literally. It's estimated the company is burning through $600 million per month while their ships are sailing empty without vacationers on board. So that's the news for today. I guess it's good, but maybe not so good. I mean, it's great to see crew is heading back to the ships. Let's just hope that we are able to open up on December 1st. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. I look forward to hearing from you. I do check those comments regularly. And lastly, if you love cruising, we are planning a fantastic group cruise on the inaugural sailing of the brand new Carnival Celebration in November of 2022. This is a 14 day sailing that starts in London, England, goes all over Spain, crosses the Atlantic and ends in Miami, Florida. We will have tons of events on board for the group. It is a fantastic time. Check it out at cruisingwithsal.com. I'll see you guys soon up on the Lido deck.